pop socket. How fun! Oil roller ball. Roy oil oil absorbing. Hello! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. That was super sweet of you. And if it's your first time here, hi, hello, welcome. You must be super pretty and smart because you picked a really good video to start on because today I'm going to be talking about some weird beauty products. Some beauty tools, some beauty makeup -y products. Uh, it's going to be a real mixed bag. Some of the products I'm going to talk about today I do have individual videos up on my channel for, but those are first impressions. And as much as I love Love to watch first impressions videos, they're not always the most accurate to how a product works because sometimes maybe you missed part of the instructions the first time or maybe it was a certain way your base was working that day that was interacting with the product poorly. So I like to give products at least like three, four chances before I completely write them off. So some of these products you might recognize, some of them I've never spoken about before. All of them are really weird and really exciting. So if you like weird beauty products like me, then I encourage you to please subscribe and keep on watching. It's coming at you right now. I am so excited to talk to you about this first product because it actually works. Not all these products work that I'm going to talk about today, but this one does. It's this scalp massager. I got it on Amazon for $5. What a scalp massager is supposed to do is break up any buildup that gets on your scalp from your various hair products, but it's also supposed to stimulate your hair follicles, which your hair grows out of your hair follicles, so it's supposed to make your hair grow. Now, do I think that my hair grew lengthwise necessarily, at least like more than it normally does over a two month period, which is how long I've been using this? I don't know about length. The length definitely, you know, I'm not blown away by that or anything. But what I am blown away by is the thickness. You guys, I have thin hair. I, I mean, maybe you disagree, maybe not now, but I used to have thin hair and I was really self-conscious because I was noticing that like my part was getting wider. Like I felt like the top of my head and my hairline looked like it was starting to get little like balding patches and it looked like my hair was thinning. I was really self-conscious about it and I had been putting makeup on my part for a long time to make it look thicker and I was like, you know what, I gotta try something else because clearly this makeup thing, I like, I cannot keep up with this forever. So I tried a scalp massager and I have to say, I genuinely think that my hair looks fuller and that my hair looks thicker. My boyfriend has even said that he noticed that my hair looks fuller and you know what, he, you know, that's, that's good. Somebody else noticed besides me. And I'll put some before and after pictures for you in here so you could really see the difference. So you can use this wet or dry. I prefer to use it in the shower. So I wash my hair twice a week, which means that I use this twice a week. And how I do it is I put my shampoo in my hair and then I work it around with this. You're supposed to use this for at least five minutes. It's not too much of a hassle to do and it'd be, I actually like it because it is a massager, so it's massaging your head. It feels kind of nice. It's working into those follicles, stimulating my follicles, bringing blood flow to my scalp, promoting healthy scalp, and I definitely have noticed a difference in my hair and I would recommend this to everybody. Moving on to my next weird beauty product. Now, I do have a video on this guy on my channel. This is the Revlon Vol. Volcanic oil roller ball. Roy oil volcanic oil absorbing roller. I think that's the title. Who knows? It'll be on the screen. But so when I first tried this, I was kind of disappointed in the results because I felt like it didn't really make a difference. But I feel like when I first tried this, it was not a good time to try it. I thought my skin was oily at the time, but I think my skin was really more sweaty than oily and this does not work on sweat. I felt like I just didn't notice a huge difference when I tried it that day that I was really sweaty, but I tried it again. Because like I told you, I try I give things many, many chances before I stop using them because I don't ever like to waste money and I paid for this, so obviously I wanted it to work. So I tried it again the other day when I was like definitely oily. It was really hot in my apartment. It was a really humid day outside, so I was like, the definition of oily. And I went in with this again. You'll see the video on the screen. I was blown away. I was flabbergasted. I was overwhelmed with emotion because it just worked so well. I feel so bad I didn't give this a fair shot the first time because it worked really, really well when I tried it yesterday. So I really think the key with this is that you have to use it on oily skin, not sweaty skin. That may be obvious to you. It was not obvious to me. I am a dry skin gal most of the time. So sometimes I mistake sweatiness for oiliness. I think this is such a unique tool because it's really easy to just pop out and clean. You just unlock it and you can pop the little ball out and you wash it with soap and warm water 
and you let it dry overnight and it's really easy to use. I like that it's so tiny because you can really get into the crevices. When I first got it, I was like, this is too little, why is it so small? But it's perfect for like getting around the side of your nose, getting around your eyebrows. Do you guys get oily above your eyebrows? I get really oily above my eyebrows. What's that about? Somebody answer in the comments. But <laughs> It's really good for getting into small spaces. It's really cute. It's like a little travel size. You can pop it in your purse, take it on the go when it's safe to go outside again. Revlon. You really did a good job with the innovation on this one. I am endlessly impressed and I recommend that you try it. All right, moving on to a product that did not impress me. And it's such a bummer because I really, really wanted this to be good. It's the Ardell Brow Tint. This is the developer and this is the powder. So this claims that the brow tint will last up to two weeks, which, you know, sounds great, sounds really cool. Um, It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't last long at all. The thing is it works because it does tint your brows. I'll put some videos overlaying here so you can see. It definitely tints your brows. Like absolutely 10 out of 10. Noticed a huge difference. Looked really good. I mean, I liked how it looked a lot. That first day I had it on, I didn't put any brow products on at all. And even the next day, I was like, you know what? This still looks pretty good. After day two, you're out of luck. It's, it's gonna fade a lot after the second day. And another thing could be that I use so many oils in my skincare routine. I mean, I don't use a lot of oils, but I use an oil cleanser to take my makeup off. Twice a week, I use a squalane and retinol serum so that has some oil in it too so maybe it's those oils that made it fade away faster I know that's something that they tell people with microblading they say that microblading will last longer if you don't put a ton of oils on your face but I'm not willing to compromise my skincare routine to make this last longer because then my, my skin's gonna be breaking out my skin's gonna be dry and flaky but my brows look great it's a lose-lose situation either way I would rather just skip this and fill in my brows on the regular like I said it does work for the first couple days but I don't think it's good to put a developer on your eyebrows every two days and also like who has the time because you have to let it sit for 10 minutes it's taking 10 minutes out of your day which is longer than most people would spend on their actual brows and for it to not even last all that long it's just not really worth it in my opinion it also is a little more on the pricier side this was $14.99 which like if it were to last for two weeks then I think it would be absolutely worth it but because it only lasts a couple days I would skip this one I think that this one was absolutely a gimmick and I think you're better off getting them done professionally or just filling in your brows all right moving on to my last strange beauty product what would you guess this is before I say anything what do you think this is it's a razor <laughs> maybe you could tell right away I think it's a little interesting looking I've been seeing beauty gurus shave their faces for a while now I know Tati made a video where she shaved her face. Jaclyn Hill made a video where she shaved her face. That was like a big like gimmicky video <laughs> that people did a couple years ago on YouTube. And I wanted to try it for myself because I've seen a lot of stuff on like TikTok skincare and everything where people do dermablading at home, which I don't advise. I think that's something that should absolutely only be done by a professional because you can really damage your skin. And I don't use this for dermablading. So what some people will do is they put like an oil on their face and they push down really hard with this to try to get the dry skin off. That is not what I use this for. I only use this to shave my face. Now, I don't have a lot of hair on my face, but I do get a good amount of peach fuzz on my cheeks that I definitely think makes my makeup a little harder to apply. I notice after I shave with this, my foundation goes on super, super smooth and helps me get rid of my little mustache. And it doesn't make your hair grow back faster either. I feel like that's a huge myth that all of our like moms and like grandmothers told us. Is they said, don't shave your face, don't shave your mustache, so it'll just grow in thicker. At least my mom used to always say that to me. And I have to say, I shave with this like once every three weeks and my hair does not grow back faster. And I never have to shave because I'm like, oh, you can see the hairs, they came in thicker. No, I just like to use this because it makes my makeup apply better and it makes my face feel really smooth. If you shave with this, don't exfoliate the same night because even if you're not pressing on your skin, even if you're going lightly, it is a blade. So you are doing a little bit of exfoliating even if you're not trying to. So I would say 
skip the scrub that night, skip the chemical exfoliant that night because you don't want to irritate your skin at all. Definitely follow up with a moisturizer. You have to follow up with the moisturizer. I am very satisfied with this. These are little chic razors. I got these on Amazon. I got like a five pack for $4. So I thought that was a really good deal. They are reusable. I just rinse it off afterwards and let it air dry before I put the cap back on. I love that it has a little protective cap. I think that's a really good feature. And if you haven't shaved your face before, I recommend you give it a try. Why not? What do you got to lose? Hairs? They'll grow back. Not faster though. All right, you guys, that's it for me today. Why am I holding this again? I don't know. I like that I have a little holster for my hands. It's like a pop socket. How fun. I hope you enjoyed hearing about these weird beauty tools. Do you like reviews in this sort of style where I try things like multiple times over a period of a couple months and then I come back and report my final thoughts for you. If there's any other weird beauty tools that I didn't try or weird beauty products that you want me to try or you're curious about or you've been wanting to buy but you're not sure if you want to waste your money and you want me to maybe waste my money and try it for you, definitely let me know because I, I love trying weird beauty stuff. These are some of my favorite videos to make. I love beauty stuff. I love weird stuff. That's um, a weird gal. What can I say? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel I post new videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday and I'd love to have you so much thank you so much for watching be sure to check out the description box for a bunch of Black Lives Matter resources petitions to sign places to donate and ways to help protesters please make sure that you're staying informed and trying to be the best ally that you can possibly be thank you guys so much for watching I will see you in my next video bye